Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Applied Forensic Research Sciences. This is Pooja Ekka, member of Applied Forensic Research Sciences. Today I am here to present the video on the topic of occupational marks, which is written by P. Revthi, volunteer of Applied Forensic Research Sciences. So let's move towards the next slide. Let's begin with the content slide. Basically, this slide reflect a small summary about my entire video that what I will be going to be discussed with you all that is introduction, definition of the occupational marks, identification of occupational marks, forensic significance and the conclusion. Personal identification is defined as establishing the identity of an individual. So basically the need for the personal identification has been arise in number of cases like especially in mass disaster cases like fire, explosive, flood, earthquake, plane crash etc. where it is one of the most difficult tasks for the law enforcement agency particularly when the body has been charred or mutilated or have a reached extreme level of decomposition. So in such situation, the identification can be achieved by following the personal identification. Occupational hazard. It is of different types, physical, chemical, biological study, occupational toxicological, occupational epidemiology and a workplace health surveillance. Occupation marks. These marks are produced on the skin of any of the person that in response to the particular type of occupation. Basically, any of the person having such marks on the skin is mainly due to pursuing the same type of work on a regular basis. Example, when we look towards the washerman hand, their palmier surface of the hand always look at the shrunken manner. It mainly caused due to their work type. Identification by occupational marks. The occupational marks offers help in identification purpose as certain to their occupation or trade leave marks. Generally, these marks may be categorized into two types, temporary marks and permanent marks. The temporary marks are mainly caused due to the pain dyes or chemical of grease etc. on the fingertips in case of painter dyes engineers or mechanic represents. The next is the permanent marks. In permanent marks, the heavy and rough hand are seen in mirrors of manual labors. And the next example is of tailors. The tailor may have a needle puncture on their left index finger. That is caused due to the re doing regular basis of the same type of work. Forensic significance. The occupational marks has been significant in forensic investigation for identifying the deceased on number of cases like in natural disaster cases such as earthquake, building collapse, aircraft crash, explosive etc. when the identification cannot be done due to the facial damage. In such cases, the personal identification has been also done by the identification of occupational marks. The next is the DNA analysis. Sometimes it helps in identifications, but sometimes the DNA analysis is not feasible. Therefore, the occupational marks are also helpful in identification purpose. Conclusion Occupational marks are an important clue in the aspect of forensic science, especially in terms of personal identification, and it will also help in narrowing down the search to establish the identity. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any query regarding this topic, you can comment on the comment box.